Okay, welcome back to Pokemon Violet and episode 7 of this general playthrough. I just finished recording episode 7 and then realized that I I wasn't recording. I was recording audio, wasn't recording video though. So I reloaded to the last save, which was after my first loss to Iono. Um, <laughs> I lost again after that uh, before finally beating her on the third attempt. I'll just tell you ahead of time. I have very high opinions of this gym. I think she's really good. Her team is set up really well. Um, let's recap the Pokemon I caught between episodes, because a lot happened between episodes. I caught Cyclozar, who was on the route that we just came down. Um, I just didn't happen to find it. Um, Cyclozar are going to be useful in this gym, um, as I learned. <laughs> uh, as well as Cyclozar, uh, we caught like all the Pokemon in between that are just random Pokemon. Mistrevious, Gumi, Mudbray, all of these random Pokemon. And then, new Pokemon, we got some different colors of Squawkabilly. We got a level 40, uh, I forgot what this Pokemon is called, Houndstone, called Coco. Uh, its terror type is Ground. I found it randomly, and it's, it's just very lucky, basically, <laughs> that my leadoff Pokemon was Crackers, a normal flying type, and this thing only had Ground and Ghost Move, so I was actually able to catch it. I uh, can't use it yet because it's level 40, but um, we'll give it a go at some point. We also caught Julie, the Tandem Mouse, who I kind of hate. <laughs> I don't... Not a big fan. Um, it's creepy. I don't really know. I guess Execute is one Pokemon, so I guess I can accept it, but it's, it's pretty creepy. Uh, we also evolved Surge to her final stage. I actually, I evolved Pormi to Pormo, just by level up, and then I was just checking Pormo's Bulbapedia to see if that was the final stage, or if I need to keep, because I didn't really plan to use it. Um, and I saw how to level it up, which was, like, quite a specific thing of, it needs to be, like, running around with you for a certain number of steps, and then it can evolve. Um, so we got it evolved. Uh, it's electric fighting. It just looks like a big version of Pormi. It's called Pormot. Pormi, Pormo, and Pormot. Um, probably not going to use it much, uh, but that's where we're at. I'm still sick, um, so, uh, like that silence, any other silences, I'm probably coughing, or sneezing, clearing my throat, something sick related. Um, I feel like we're on the recovery part now, though. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon that I'm really excited to use. The good news is I'm pretty used to this gym at this point. Um, so I feel like I should be able to beat Iono first try. Um, I feel like we should. And by first try, I mean fourth try, but I did also beat her third try. Uh, I am recording video this time, which is good. Um, that's an exciting change for me. Um, the, go the good news for this is I can actually do some extra stuff in this episode, because this episode was literally just going to be me failing to beat Iono twice, and then beating her finally. Um, for the sake of my voice, because I've already read it once, uh, I'm gonna skip through her dialogue, because it's quite painful for me to read. You can read it as she goes. She's just doing some general streaming stuff. Uh, she does a little interview with us before the battle begins. Um, her team is what I'm impressed by. I think I said it before the Brassius battle in uh, Artisan is I said usually the third gym leader is like the one where they start to throw in like an actual test. Like you have Whitney's Mill Tank, you have um, Gardenia's Roserade? Does Gardenia have a Roserade? She does, right? Um, who was the other one I was thinking of? Somebody. Definitely somebody. Anyway, third gym leaders tend to get good Pokemon. Um, and... Let's get the show on the road. No, wait. Second gym leaders get good Pokemon. Gardenia's second. And Misty's second. And Bugsy's second. Well, Brassius had a Sudowoodo. We lost to Brassius, so it still makes sense. I've confused myself. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it is unfortunate. So she leads off with Watchroll, uh, which was obviously not a good thing for me in the first battle because I had Cinquenta up front. Uh, it did not go very well. But we have learned our lesson. I also know what um, 
I know what NACLI's evolution looks like because it evolved at the end of episode seven, but um, then episode seven didn't happen. So um, it's called Knackle Stack or NACLS Stack, um, which is how I assume it's actually pronounced. Uh, I it looks it very much looks like um, oh no oh god damn it I didn't mean to do that I'm so I'm so caught up in having done this battle nine times that I accidentally just switched so to make up for it I'm gonna switch two extra times um because I feel like that's unfair I feel like I've cheated so I'm gonna switch two more times to give her the advantage back uh, because that was an accident. Um, it goes from very much being a Mario character in NACLI to being like a pure Minecraft character, I feel like. Um, Belly Bolt is the one we knew she had because it's in the trailers. Um, it's good. Its ability is interesting. We'll see it now. It just, I think it acts like charge. The move charge is when you hit it, it I think it boosts the power of its next... Um, electric type move. Okay, hopefully that makes up for me uh, using or accidentally switching uh, because I really don't want to start this battle again for a fifth time. Uh, yeah, Electromorphosis? Is that what it was called? I've seen it like 19 times now. You think I would have actually read it once? I think it's called Electromorphosis. Electromorphosis? Let's just see. Uh, but Breaking Swipe is a really good counter for it because obviously that lowers attack. And it's mostly relying on spark. Electromorphosis, okay. Or morphosis. Um, yeah, anytime you hit it, I think it acts like spark. Or not spark, like charge. Um, or at least that's what it seems like. Um, but I'm very excited by Cyclozar. Cyclozar and Finizen, I think, are both going to be largely in the team. Again, I'm trying... I've spoken about most of this stuff already. Um, so I'm trying <laughs> to remember... Uh, what I needed to talk about. I think my team is going to be like 10 to 15 Pokemon, honestly. I don't really see myself narrowing it down to 6. Because I want to use Cyclozar, I want to use Finizen, I want to use Xylem and uh, Cinquenta. I want to use like a bunch of Pokemon. And we probably haven't seen like half of what's available yet. Oh god, I... I... <laughs> I feel like the actual episode was kind of exciting because I kept losing. And the final win was really close as well. It came down to Cyclozar in the end. Uh, because I'm not going to spoil her ace until it comes out, but it's such a clever ace for her to have. Okay, this thing can basically do no damage at this point. Uh, so we just need to go and hit Break Swipe. Okay. Um... Right, let's try not to switch this time. I'm just tapping B to attempt to stop it. Uh, I've forgotten who the third... So Luxio is third, right? So we're going to go out to uh, Cinquenta for that. Uh, because Cinquenta, weirdly, not actually very helpful. In As it turns out, not very helpful at all. Because the first Pokemon is a flying type. So ground moves can't hit it. The second Pokemon, Belly Bolt, the reason we didn't go into it is because it has Water Gun, so our ground typing is not very useful. Uh, this one, we're actually kind of helpful, we can do stuff here. And then the fourth one, uh, ground moves also don't hit it, so she's covered for ground really well. Which is good. I I'm actually, this gym makes me really excited for the rest of the gyms, because it feels like they're all going to be good. Like, she has a, a well-thought-out... Also, are we actually going to fail to beat this thing? Uh, this is really bad, because we don't have anything else for Luxio. So you kind of need to hit this. Okay, well, that's helpful, at least. Uh, we don't have anything else for Luxio, really, so... Uh, you could have done more than that. Uh, speed drop is nice. Are we faster now? I highly doubt it. Um... I'm wondering if I need to terastalize. Okay, we are faster. Okay. But poison should take care of it. Or either way, Cyclozar has uh, quick attack, so we should be good. Um, Yeah, her team is just, like, really well thought out. For the third gym leader, it's a very good team. 
uh, and you will see why. Uh, the first time, I didn't really think much of it when she sent out her ace. Um, so we have the bonus of knowing what this is. Um, why do you have the... I, well, how do I keep getting that wrong? I keep giving the person berry to the wrong Pokemon. Um... I think this is the move. I may be wrong. Uh, but we'll see. I'm... Uh, now I'm questioning this. I Because if I mess this up, then we will lose again. Which will be embarrassing. Um, so I'm hoping... The terrestrialization happens before any attacks, right? So... Okay. Right, so I wanted to quick attack. To see if she goes for Confuse Ray. Which I feel like she should. Uh, and then we can switch to get rid of the confusion, because I don't really want to deal with the confusion. Uh, the second loss was largely down to me hitting myself like eight times in confusion. But yes, Miss Magius, kind of frustrating to deal with as an electric type, because it has levitate, so it has no weaknesses. Um, it's just really good, honestly, the way it's set up. Um, okay. Let us switch out to Sokolo. Um, hopefully it doesn't get the attack boost from Charge Beam. That would be bad, because it's got to go for Charge Beam, because it can't go for Hex, because we're a normal type. Uh, honestly, Cyclozar is a very, very good Pokemon for this gym. I assume that's why it appears right before it, uh, because it matches up very, very well. Don't get the attack boost. Oh, Soklo's not going to evolve. Oh, god damn it. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, this is going terribly this time. Uh, because last time, the time I won, it was poisoned, I think. I probably should have just used, um, Toxic Spikes when I had the chance. Okay, so we're going to go for Bite. Because we're faster, and it has a flinch chance. Give us a flinch. Please give us a flinch. I need the flinch. Flinch. Nope, that's bad. That's bad. Can I live two of these? Oh, no. I'm just going to miss out. Okay, so we have to terastalize and go breaking swipe. Um, does, does the HP recover depend on how much damage you do? Because if so, we can get more back here. We need four HP back. Okay, also the dragon terror typing looks really cool. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I think we are dragon then. I was going to say, are we just normal? 21, 21. Oh, yes. I think we live on one. <laughs> I think we live on one. Oh, we avoided it. Okay. We're good. I think we would have lived on one anyway. Okay. Uh, that was close. But I have beaten her again in the f uh, the fourth attempt. Also at the third attempt. Um, but this is a good battle. Miss Magis has Levitate. Wattrell's Flying type. Belly Bolt covers with Water Gun. Like, she covers her weakness very, very well. Um, we are not going to get an evolution. Uh, so NACLI? Just gonna be an NACLI for now. You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million volt Thunderbolt. Friendo, I think it said, if I recall. Okay, that went well. Again, uh, I'm just gonna skip what she says. You can read it. Um, her, her voice hurts my voice, so. Um, yeah, we, we beat her. I beat her last time too, but this time we get to do more stuff because <laughs> last time... It took me about 40 minutes to beat her, so. That's all good. We get our picture. We get the TM for uh, Volt Switch, I think. Plus, Pokemon up to level 35 of AS. Um, just, just recapping from what I learned last time. I uh, got Volt Switch, and we're good. Okay. So, I'm just going to look through the Pokemon we have quickly. I can bring uh, Echo into the team now. And... I don't actually know what six we're going to run with. I want to keep 
Uh, do I want... Yeah, I want to keep an ACLI in the team just for a second. Because I want that evolution. Um, oh yeah, and then, okay. Pardon me, hello. I should probably go back through this one. You just defeated the gym leader, yes? And your name is Finn, if I recall correctly. Tell me, do you seek to become a champion? Yes. Just what I hope to hear. You have a rare talent, especially for your age. Aim high. Greater heights are within your reach. Oh, but I've gotten ahead of myself. You have? I am Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. As you seem to be collecting gym badges, I suspect we'll meet again down the line. Until then, good day to you. Bye. Okay, also, I don't think I covered it in this episode. I mean, I did, just it was the other rendition of this episode. Look how adorable Jolteon is. Jolteon is very adorable. Um, another thing that I didn't cover because I didn't cover the Jolteon, I found an Eevee. Uh, but I killed it. I, I messed up. I thought it was like level 20 because all the other wild Pokemon are like level 20, but it was level 10. I have no idea why. Uh, so let's go and heal. Um, and then we're going to go to the Titan Cloth, I think. Uh, because I just want to... I want to see the Titan battle and see... I mean, I'm just guessing it's not going to be that difficult. Because it's like the early one and we've done three badges now. Uh, yes. Um, I also want to stick with Chomp because I feel like Chomp must have an evolution coming up. There's no way Chomp doesn't evolve, right? It, it's got to evolve. <laughs> Actually, we can kind of check. Uh, if I go to the Pokedex. The Pokedex is kind of like a cheat code for figuring out if Pokemon evolve. Uh, I've seen 110 Pokemon, by the way. No, I've caught 110 Pokemon. I've battled 132. Uh, where is... Uh, do we have... Did I... I honestly forgot what I'm looking for. Uh, Mastiff is what I'm looking for. Uh, so it should be around here somewhere. It's like an early Pokemon. Is it not going to be early on? Can I search? Uh, oh, right here. Okay, does that... Oh, no, but that's no... Okay, well, this is going to help us just find what number it is. Because uh, I need its number. So Mastiff is 196... Back to numerical. So what is 197? That's the important thing. <laughs> uh, if it's a different Pokemon, then I guess it doesn't evolve. But uh, if it's a blank space, it actually shows us the silhouette for it. So 197. Yeah, that looks like a dog, right? Yeah, that's got to be the evolution for this thing. That looks like a dog. A big, a big husky dog. So um, that is there. Um, Eve. So okay, no, sorry. There's a big jump there. I was like, does Eevee only have one or two evolutions in this game? Uh, there's another single stage Pokemon here. Oh! <gasps> no, I don't know why I spoiled that for myself. Is it just a different? It's so similar to Dunsparce. It's just like a vaguely different form. So, like, it's got an extra bump on its chin. It's bigger, right? <gasps> oh, I don't know why I spoiled that for myself. I don't know if I spoiled that for everyone else as well. Whoops. Sorry if I spoiled that for you. Um, I didn't even really think about that. Oh, also, that I guess that means I should probably put, um... Because I got a, t a special Terra typing done sparse at some point. Uh, maybe that should come into the rotation. Let me go to my boxes quickly. Uh, in this one. So let's switch those two. Do I have like a special Terra typing one? It is... Uh, poison. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's, it has Poison Tail. Um, so who am I going to bring in? I'm going to bring in Echo. Um, I'll probably do Chomp off screen. Because you're kind of over level now. Uh, so we'll bring in Xylem again. Uh, Cinquenta can sit out for a bit. We'll bring Pinky back in. We'll bring Noodle back in. Uh, maybe like that? I kind of want to use Watchrill as well, but we'll, we'll use this team for now. Uh, and obviously, we're going to put Echo up front. Because, oh my god, Echo is adorable. Oh 
my god. Oh my god, you're so adorable. You ran through me, but... And you went into the ground, but I'll ignore that because you're very adorable. Okay, also somebody in the comments told me how to fix the map so it doesn't spin around, which I'm very thankful for because it was very confusing. Uh, so this is where we want to go. Not what I was trying for. So there's destination. Uh, where's the closest place I can go? This one? Okay. Yeah, we want to test this thing out. Uh, because I... I don't know. I feel like the this must be the first one because it's a cloth. Well, actually, cloth might be good. I don't know if cloth evolves. If cloth evolves, it's probably not very good. I haven't really... I have a cloth. I just haven't really looked at its stats. Uh, we also have three of the four Squawk ability. I don't have the white one yet, but I have yellow and green and blue. Uh, so we're just missing one Squawk ability. I don't... I can't see any change. Like, they seem to all be the same. They're the same type. Uh, they're the same stats, more or less. Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, there. Okay. I see it. I see it. We're good. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know if this is going to take a long time. I don't know if this is going to be easy, if this is going to be hard. Do I have to battle those cloth? No, just walk right past them. There's a Shinx. There. What is that? Oh, it's a Growlithe that was sleeping. <laughs> Hello. Do I have to drop on it from above? Sir? Where are you going? Can can I talk? I just want to talk. Where are you? Hey, I just want to talk. Hello. <laughs> the eyes are so goofy. Hello. You, you okay? Gloh! Cloth, the Stony Cliff Titan. Um, I think we're special. So we're gonna Drastalize. This is Echo's first chance in battle. And it's very adorable. So I, I don't really know, like, what we're talking at of, like, level, kind of. Like, what quality we want to be at for this. Oh my god, it's so adorable. You got this, Echo. Hiding under water in the desert. Nobody will ever expect it. Like, how much is this gonna do? <laughs> oh, okay. Anger shell is a fun thing. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Wait, what? Okay, okay. I was gonna say, every stat up? Oh, uh, Cloth, I think... What the hell is that? that? Was that a move? I mean, I, I'll just dive again. Even though I think Aqua Jet probably would have been good for the win. Uh, that, that'll do it. So yeah, I suspect I was supposed to do this. I hate that they changed the text on Vice Grip. Um, I suspect I was supposed to do this before the second gym kind of time. Um, oh. Why did that do... Wait, what happened? Oh, that's the, that's as far down. I was like, why did that do so much less? It's defense and special defense were down. Okay, so it's not just a one stage thing. Uh, but I don't feel like that was supposed to be that easy. Uh, we're going to auto heal. Because it definitely seems like Echo is the way to go. Also, I don't know why I'm going this way when it's right here. Hello. I'm on your back. I'm inside you. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Okay. I assume this is what we want. Like, this is where the Herba Mystica are? Okay, okay. There might be more to this. Hey, Arvin. Finn, you found it. I did. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it going to be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Finn. Okay. Hopefully it's a bit tougher. 
Although, again, I think I just took it on too early. Uh, you also have a water type. So you're level 16. Okay. So that gives me an idea. I can Trestalize again. It would be really funny if I just hit the Shelder. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelder, let's serve up a helping of defeat on the something. I didn't read the last two words. Uh, okay, this will tell the story. Are we still doing... If we're doing half or even close to it, this might be a bit too... Well, no, I, th I think they should just tell you, like, do them in this order. Because <laughs> if you save this to the end of the game, surely it's just you're one-shotting every single bit of it. Because it's not going to hit, and then we're going to hit dive. Okay, that didn't do too much, but we're seven levels higher, and I'm also terrestrialized, and we're using a much better move, so I'm guessing... Okay. It... It could be worse. In fairness, I haven't... It hasn't actually hit me with an attack yet. So I don't know... I don't know, like, how damaging it can be. Because we haven't actually seen it hit with anything. Because I keep diving out of the way. Um, and as a result, dive is definitely going to kill it now. Uh, on the glove, please. Uh... That did decent damage. Not a massive amount, though. Bye, Echo. Okay. Rock Tomb. Misses. Okay. Uh, is it going to go down to zero? Or... Okay, so that was the end. I was, I was wondering if there might be another stage to it, but uh, that is it. Good work, Echo. I'm proud of you. Oh, it died. Oh, you're so cute. Look how happy Echo is. Okay, BC up to 25. Is Soklo evolving at 24? Yes, okay. Um, so we still got the Soklo evolution. I, I've never played Minecraft, but this design just... It feels very Minecraft to me. Um, it, maybe it's just the, like, cubes... But I feel like just the, even the face looks very Minecraft. So it's gone from being very Mario to very Minecraft. I don't know what what game the uh, final form is going to be inspired by, but uh, it compresses rock salt inside its body and shoots out hardened salt pellets with enough force to perforate an iron sheet. Terrifying. Uh, this is Knackle Stack or NACL NACLS Stack. NACLS Stack. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay. Uh, yes, we will learn this because this sounded pretty good. We'll learn it inside of Mudshot. It's like a recurring move that's rock type that does more damage to water and steel. But straight up, I think it's 40 power, like 40 base power on the first hit. Uh, so it's good. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are... Yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. It was... It would take like three moves, Arvin. It wasn't that tough. Uh, I will try to take on the other Titans as I find them. In fact, I'll go around the map after this. And we'll just look at what the order they want us to do stuff in. Because I feel like there's a specific order. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. I think we killed it, Arvin. Okay, so is there going to be anything to this bit? Or is it just going to be finding something? Watch your step. It's pretty dark. It's not that dark. Ar Arvin? Do you have, like, vision issues? No way. Ooh. <gasps> wow. Arvin just eats it all. <laughs> Starts attacking us. This is one of the Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Yes, we actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Finn. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health, and that it helps aid digestion. 
Says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you need to, nope, when you want to simu stimulate the old appetite. It's simulate. So that doesn't sound like a good thing. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. Okay. Does he have a Pokemon, or does he, he have a sick relative? He has a Pokemon that he loves, and he wants to heal it? Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking! He said Ma. Master? Master Chief, probably. Here you go! An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs! And I'll even give you a badge. You know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan Badge. Made it myself using a, rep a replica of the gym badges, see? I see. <laughs> I love how we're posing for it. It's a good sandwich. Well, neither of us taken a bite yet, so... Oh, yeah! Rhydon loves the sandwich. Oh, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its bowl on its own whenever it wants. Oh, yeah. Hey, now, no, that's not for you. Ugh. Yeah, of course. This is, if anyone said this is mine, truly, no, not all of it. <laughs> I didn't want to give all of it. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? I was thinking maybe like half and half. I hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. Oh, come on, now you're making me feel like I'm the selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you'd better save her every last bite. Yeah, yeah. I'm not giving you some this time. Huh? You already ate the whole thing? Oh. You feeling better? <gasps> Yay. Oh, so that's... So we have to do Titan things to let... Okay, that makes sense. So the Titan things enable Maraidon to do stuff, like swimming and flying, I'm guessing. Whoa! Hey, is it me or is this thing sort of powered up somehow? Oh, yeah! Whoa, I can't believe it! The power of these herbs is really worth guarding! If they had that big of an effect on your Pokémon, then I bet... Ugh, I bet it'll come in super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yup, that's what I bet. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Did you not say it was dark in here? Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave all this to me, though I'd be much obliged if you get a start on searching out the remaining four Herbalistica for us. I shall. Thanks, Arvin. Good guy, Arvin, you know. Okay. I really owe you. Oh, we're gonna get his backstory. Okay, the coast is clear. Marrow? Magikarp. Ma? More while? Oh! <gasps> more not in the game. <laughs> uh, I hope it is. And that his Pokemon's more while. Wait, no, no, I wanna see. Hello, Finn. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Uh, press the left stick. Okay. I hope you will continue to explore Paldea with Maridon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey, and take good care of Maridon for me. Uh, okay, I kind of want to... I assume... Okay, we can't go back in. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Um, so, wait, what is that? Is that just a crazy-looking Shinx? I think the lighting just made it look weird. I feel like I've probably missed a shiny already. And it makes me sad. I feel like the only way I'm going to spot a shiny is if it's a really obvious one. Or if it's in a group of Pokemon like these Skiddo. And then I might notice if it stands out. Uh, I just want to look at this. Uh, no, the map. Wait, no, what? The map. Okay. Um, 
So I know the next gym is Cascarafa, because I've noted that down. So is Cascarafa... No, so this is Alfrenada. So I assume Cascarafa is just up this way further. Is this a... This, oh, so that's another thing. I, I should probably do this one as well. Just because I assume I'm supposed to have done that already. Is this Cascarafa? No, that's another uh, base... Is Cascarafa over this way? No, so Cascarafa is here. Which is confusing. Is this also a gym? No, okay. So, so they want us to go up from this one? Again, I just feel like I should do them in order, because... I don't really know what to make of it otherwise. Uh, okay. Well, either way, there's a lot to do in this game. Okay, so it's marked off things we've done. Right, so we've done three badges and one Path of Legends. Um, Honestly, this might not be the longest episode, but for me, it's been an entire 40 minutes longer than that. So we're going to end it there. Um, We've accomplished quite a lot. Uh, we got to use Echo for the first time. Very adorable. Um, I'm excited for the gyms coming up. Just because I was really... I mean, as you might have seen, and you would have seen if I had managed to record the first episode, I struggled a lot with Iono. So, uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the gyms. Uh, loving the game so far, even though it's disappointed me in several... Well, one, the biggest disappointment is the lack of scaling. Like, I could take the unfinished game if they had actually made it open world in a way where I could do things in any order I wanted. Um... The, la the lack of set battle style is its just kind of inconvenient more than annoying. And then just the game being <laughs> like clearly not finished. A lot of the animations aren't very good. The draw distance is just phenomenal. Like it can't load in a plant that's four yards away. At, at certain angles. Uh, the Pokemon just disappear into like cliffs and stuff. When I throw out my Echo, it just disappears into the ground. It's like... It's just so not done. Um, and I wish it was, because the bits that, when they do look good, it's so exciting. And a lot of the Pokemon in the overworld do look good. I will say... When it looks good, it looks really good. Well, it, no, it doesn't look really good, but it's like... It looks how I want it to look. Just not as graphically impressive. Like, I love the idea. Pokemon in the overworld is exactly where the game should be. Like, I feel like we're beyond the point of random encounters in grass at this point. Um, either way, I'm happy. Even if I'm slightly disappointed. So, we will continue on next time. I, we might do that Team Star base just because we should probably do it at some point. <laughs> I'm guessing we're overleveled for it already. Uh, so, we might do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you then. Bye-bye.